Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Today in this video I am going to tell you how to map your L3 R3 button onto the back buttons which are your L4 and R4 buttons of the Steam Deck. As you know there are several games. One of the games which I play which use L3 and R3 buttons more frequently is your Hogwarts. As you know pressing your joysticks which are your default L3 and L3 buttons are very difficult whenever you are playing so mapping it onto the back buttons of your Steam Deck really helps. So today in this video I am going to tell you how to do exactly that. So guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Let's get started. As I have told you before the game which I am playing as of now is Hogwarts which I am playing remotely on my PlayStation 5 for which I am using Chiaki. So I am going to tell you how to map your L3 R3 buttons onto the back buttons of your Steam Deck using Chiaki. But you can use the same process to map the L3 R3 buttons onto the back of your Steam Deck onto any games that you play or require this L3 R3 buttons to be mapped on the back side. So let's do that quickly. So first thing you need to go and open the applications. On the applications as you can see here you have the remote control buttons so you have to click A on that. It will give you the layout. As you can see as of now I am using Chiaki 4 Deck Plus layout which I have modified to add L3 and R3 onto my L4 and R4. So if you want to see how to map the default layout for playing your PlayStation games so I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. So once you have selected and applied the layout you have L4 and R4. So all you need to do is click on settings. Either you can remove an existing command or rename an existing command. So rename means on the top you can say whether it is L3 or R3. So as of now I have renamed it to L3. So if it is named as something different you can always come here and rename it. So since I have already renamed you know how to rename this thing to L3 and R3. Okay, so once you come here, you have to click on this icon. So if it is mapped to something else, you can always remap it. So I will tell you how to remap it to left stick. So you come here, you can see you have several options onto the top, mouse pad, keyboard, numpad, action set and systems. So depending upon where your buttons are located, you can always map it. So for me, I would be wanting it to map it to L3 and R3. So I will go on to gamepad and then I will go on to select this circle. Don't worry, these are not going to be mapped to the directional buttons as it is one click button. So system knows that I will be using the click feature. So I will select this L and I will double click A. So it will assign my left stick onto my L4. Same way you can go on to R4. Same way you can go and select your right trackpad and as you know this is not going to map it to the directional button it's going to map it to the click as it is a click button so system knows that I am going to use it to click it. So that is what you're going to do is double click on A and it will map your L3 R3 onto your Steam Deck. So that is how guys you map your L3 and R3 buttons onto your L4 and R4 buttons onto the back of your Steam Deck. So this is how guys I play my PlayStation games remotely and I can use my L4 and R4 button which is now mapped to my left stick click and right stick click which is by default my L3 and R3 buttons. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching and clear skies.